Adventures in Pixie Land presents your daily energy reading. Your daily astrology reading for September 23rd, 2024 is the waning gibbous moody moon conjunct expansive Jupiter retrograde in excitable Gemini. The, you have a lot of opportunities available if you can be open to new experiences and are willing to put the work in. When Jupiter's uh, retrograde, it means it's work, not luck, that gets us somewhere. Your Elder Futhark Daily Rune for September 23rd, 2024 is Ansus. Ansus, the letter A, meaning God, chieftain, reference to Odin. Associations, mind, voice within, signals, inspiration, true vision, self-knowledge. Today, your focus is on your connection to source consciousness. You might be noticing synchronicities or signals from the universe that you are on the right path. Your daily romance angel oracle card for September 23rd, 2024 is calling in your soulmates. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You, like everyone, have soulmates. These are people with whom you have shared time in heaven and in other lives. You made a soul agreement to meet in this lifetime for the purpose of mutual spiritual growth. You have many such agreements with various people who are called your soulmates. They include friends, family members, co-workers, and romantic partners. This card guides you to actively call in your romantic soulmate into your life. You can do so through prayer, affirmations, and visualizations. It also means working on yourself so that you can epitomize the qualities you're seeking in a partner. For instance, if you desire a significant other who has got a great sense of humor, develop this within yourself. Like attracts like, which is part of calling in your soulmate. Your daily fairy wisdom oracle card for September 23rd, 2024 is Gift Revealed. Card 44, Gift Revealed. Surprise! Surprise someone today. Fairies love good surprises. However... When they are faced with a surprise that isn't quite what they've asked for, they pout. Pouting soon turns into a smile and laughter as they realize everything comes with its own gift. They always look until they find the gift. If life gives you something that you aren't completely thrilled with, keep an open mind. Often, the best things come disguised. Look below the surface and see what a person or situation holds for you. Do not be quick to judge new people. Not everything is revealed on the spot. Connect with the person and understand where they are coming from. Their experience is different from yours. So take the time to see what makes them tick and what they have to offer. They are just as important as you are. Do the same with situations. Understand that what appears to be the case may not be the truth at all. Remember that solutions can come in the strangest of ways if you allow them to do so. Always ask that spirit create the perfect solution for you. Find the gift in all things. Your chant, O oh, spirit of the night that hides the late of day, I call upon your wisdom to help me on my way. To look below the surface and see what lies within, I cast about some fairy dust to sprinkle at my whim. I judge not that what I see, but look and let it be. For I do know within my grasp, a gift is there for me. So be it. 
Your daily Starseed Oracle card for September 23rd, 2024 is You're Not Alone. You're not alone. Isolation, physical connection, community. The older the soul, the deeper the cave. Many star seeds and old souls enjoy their own company. Spending time alone can be comforting and necessary for their vitality as it allows them to commune with their soul and fill up their energetic resources, especially if they have an underactive or open root chakra or find it hard being human. Many star seeds find it more nourishing to retreat than spend their time in meaningless conversations and relationships. However, we must remember that we're not here to go about this life alone. Humans are pack animals and we all need the love, company, and support of others, both emotionally and physically. In our increasingly online world, we can be connected to more people and yet feel more alone and isolated than ever. There's still so much we don't know about the energetic side of things like social media. With so many people knowing our news, what is that doing to your auric field? Commonly, we find ourselves in constant conversation, yet lacking the genuine connection of physical community and touch. The main message of this card is to step out of your cave and physically reach out to those in your life, to replenish when you need, but not isolate yourself. This could be seeing friends and family who live nearby or having a regu regular catch up walk with someone. In what ways can you open yourself up to the people who are physically in your life? Those you truly know? Your star seed soul inquiry? How can you reach out to people in your life physically? Your daily Priestess of Light Oracle card for September 23rd, 2024 is Opening Heart. Card 11, Deep Connections, Water Blessings. The Mermaid Priestess of the Ocean holds out hand, calling your attention to the right, the future, and your many upcoming opportunities for connection. Her other hand is held over her heart center as this card portends to important relationships on many levels. The first is a potential for deep, intimate, romantic love. Your soul longs to connect. So allow yourself to release any resistance and open your heart to trust. The next is the kinship of friends and loved ones who truly resonate with your higher desires and beliefs. This family of your soul brings support and joy to help expand your consciousness in amazing directions, including the energetic realms. The rolling waters of the sea represent the profound presence of spirit and the depth of connections that you can now make with the vast spiritual world around you. These heart-to-heart -heart connections can be life-changing so let yourself be open to receiving the powerful waves of inspiration and guidance coming your way. On the literal level, this card might speak of bodies of water in your experience and environment. You may soon find yourself traveling by or over water for personal or professional reasons. Your residence or workplace may be re relocating near water. Or you may begin a relationship with someone who is similarly situated. Remember, whenever you are near water, let yourself absorb the magic of the energy and the power of its spirit. 
offer prayers and thanks for the life force of water that always nurtures your earthly existence. Your affirmation, gentle waves of love, friendship, and spirit are coming my way. I am grateful for the life-giving energies of water. Your daily energy reading for September 23rd, 2024 is the astrology reminds you, you can only reap what you sow. Ansu says, creator is calling in, please be still and know. The romance oracle reminds you that you can call in your soulmates. Make sure you take the time to work on yourself because your partner will mirror you. The fairies remind you to have fun. The starseed oracle reminds you you have a community around you. The priestess of light oracle reminds you that water is life for our bodies and our loved ones are life for our spirit. It most definitely takes a village, that's for sure. The creator wants to talk to you, but he wants you to be still. Because there are people around you that are indeed people you're meant to interact with. You're even meant to have fun with them. And you're meant to have this community. And that's all beautiful blessings. Your group that you belong in is a, and the one that you find yourself in is in a direct reflection of either who you are or what you'll tolerate. So it's up to you to decide if what this is, is I just need to find the right room or I need to go heal myself so I can be in the right room. Because frequently in our life, it's going to be a toss up as to which one that is. And working on yourself one way or the other is what's recommended. The more you heal you, the less you will tolerate the nonsense from foolish people who just want to create drama. Drama starters are usually unhappy with their own life. There's something they find displeasing there. And so they feel like they must bring disruption to other people so they don't have to focus on themselves if that helps you, or at least that's my experience. 